Hey, what's happening, Trinity Fitness? My name is Rylan McCarts. I serve as the area director for Trinity Fitness on the Space Coast of Florida. And Trinity Fitness is a Christ-centered, faith-focused gym that is open to all people. Our vision is healthy people inside and out in every community across America. Today's battle for Saturday, April 18th, is Murph Training. We're getting you guys ready for May 25th. You don't want to miss that home battle. Or if the gyms are open, we'll be doing it hopefully in gyms. So we will see about that. Anyways, the battle today is uh, book in runs, 800 meters, or run four minutes. You can scale that up to one mile, also known as 1,600 meters, or eight minutes of running. Your choice there. In the middle, the meat, cheese, all the good stuff, is an AMRAP of 20 minutes of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. Let's walk over to this other side of the gym and take a look at what these exercises are gonna be looking like today. The first exercise is gonna be pull-ups. So in case you don't have a pull-up bar, the two recommendations I would give you are a bent over row, feet are at hip width, back to that extension, chin is tucked, neutral spine, back and um, elbows start locked and you're pulling those dumbbells, uh, kettlebells, or maybe you have milk jugs all the way up to the torso, squeezing those scaps together. If you just had one weight, you could do 10 reps, five per side, as so. Also, you could go to a renegade row, which is for the floor. Have those dumbbells or kettlebells directly underneath your shoulders so that your wrists are stacked over your shoulders. And you're gonna bring your feet out about shoulder width or just a little bit wider. Keep your abs tight, and it's one, two, three, four, and five. If that was too easy, you could scale up and go 10. It's gonna attack your core, I promise it'll be a great exercise. If you have a pull-up bar or rings in your garage, you could do ring pull-ups or pull-ups. And you could also do a towel ring row. If you have a towel to wrap around, some sort of strong object in your garage, like a really strong fence post. Now the next exercise is the push-ups. I'm gonna show you guys the progression up to the push-ups. It's a lot of reps. Hollow body position. Uh, if, I would, if this was my, my horizontal in this position here, my shoulder, my elbow, and my wrist would all be stacked, and my elbows stay tight to the body, and the chest touches the box or the chair that you're pushing off of. Of course, you can go to the floor and do a normal floor push-up. Notice that my wrist and my shoulder, my wrist and my elbow are stacked at the bottom position, and my chest and thighs touch the floor each rep. Don't cheat yourself, guys. You're gonna only make gains in the range of motion that you train. And then lastly, the squats. Heels are at shoulder width. I like to have my toes slightly pointed out as proper positioning. And as I go about the hips back and down with an arched body, my knees are tracking out and over my toes, and my hip crease is getting parallel to the thigh, keeping your weight in your heels at all times. This is gonna be a great workout for you guys. I, I love these exercises, some of my favorites. I think you could do them every day and be very, very healthy. Have a great day, enjoy your workout. Post your pictures to Facebook, Instagram, and tag Trinity Fitness. Make sure if you have questions about this battle, uh, contact your facility director. Have a great day.